They haven't moved in months, but the cars on the track of the mine bender have officially seen their last riders. West Edmonton Mall announced Monday the ride has shut down for good. It's sad. It's been here for a long time. It's a staple. It's part of the part of this mall. You rode it. Do you remember when or how often? Oh, maybe uh, 25 years ago. And your review? It was great. I've been collecting screams at Galaxyland for several years now. The ride's been a feature attraction at the mall for years, highlighted in TV commercials. Once the world's longest indoor roller coaster, it's perhaps better known for its early harrowing incline and subsequent plunge, captured on GoPro by this YouTuber. Its early history was tragic. Shortly after it opened in 1986, a car jumped the track, killing three people and seriously injuring another, prompting Fantasyland to reduce its 96 kilometer per hour speed. In recent years, due to maintenance and the pandemic, it hasn't produced many thrills at all. Wem isn't saying exactly why the mind bender is closing. I spoke with an employee of Galaxyland back in May who told me the ride was in need of extensive repairs, even alluding to cracks in the track. Wem won't confirm that. We're losing like a big chunk of, of one of the most iconic parts of, of West Edmonton Mall, one of the biggest ride in one of the biggest attractions there is. Perhaps no one is more devastated by the Mindbender closure than Matthew Duchak, a self-described WEM historian who owns a treasure trove of mall-related collectibles. When you have this, this location that's always associated with fun and hanging out and friends and positive vibes, it just, it becomes, you become attached to it somehow. You're gonna miss it. Yeah. Hoping they put like another fast roller coaster in here instead. Wem is promising to replace the coaster with new family thrills, but for people who rode it, the mind bender experience is hard to forget. Dan Grummet, Global News.